on guys welcome back to tactical talks so i gotta apologize right off the bat i'm a little under the weather but this is the only time that i have so i can make this video with that being said what i wanted to talk about was guns it's what we always talk about or what we mostly talk about now i'm more of an ar guy the same way i'm a glock guy as far as my pistols go but i've seen a lot of ak's and i've always thought to myself like man i want an ak like i just don't have one i'd like to have one in the safe something to go out and play with um really it would just be a range gun like a lot of my guns are really don't have any plans to go out and, and do any kind of tactical assaults with an ak but i've been around them i've shot them i've just never owned one well i don't know if you guys remember i've talked about a youtuber named ant diesel shout out to ant diesel um we're always showing love back and forth to each other each other's channels very informative person lives up in alaska he's got a bunch of different guns he actually just bought a new gun so go and check that gun out i'm not gonna spoil it what it is but he also is doing an ak build he did the ak he bought the ak has slowly been upgrading it and everything and i watched his videos and every time i watch those videos one i think man that's a really nice gun two man i really want one and then i got to thinking there's some guns in my safe that i really don't mess with a lot I've gone out and shot a few times, but again, I don't do I don't do much with them. When I when I am able to get out to the range, then I go out and fire them. But again, they're just range toys. And then I started remembering I have an AK, huh? So this is a a, a friendly call out. My AK is bigger than yours. Check this out. I don't know how many of you have seen this, how many of you remember this in some of my videos. I talked about it in the past. This is the JTS AK-12. This is a shotgun, but it's still an AK. I bought this thing, I guess over a year ago now. I saw it, and at the time I had the same thought. I want an AK, but I really wanted a shotgun at the time. So... The best of both worlds. I went down to Academy. They had this bad boy sitting out there. AK style 12 gauge shotgun. Semi automatic. Has a five round mag that it comes with. Now I ordered some 10 round mags months ago. And I had some issues with them, you know, mailing them out and sending them out to me and it had been almost a month and a half, and I hadn't got any updates, any email about when they were supposed to get here. And it was through a third-party website, so I can't necessarily fault the actual manufacturer of the magazines. But we went back and forth. I, well, after about a month and a half, I started contacting them. We went back and forth for a little while. And they said, yeah, they're still coming. You know, we had an issue with this and that. We have had so many orders. And I said, you know what? Just give me my money back. So they sent me my money back. I didn't end up getting any 10-round mags yet. And again, I don't really shoot this very often. It was kind of just that novelty piece for this gun. So this is my AK. Now, it don't look as nice as Ant Diesel's. I don't have as many upgrades as Ant Diesel does. But, I mean, we're getting there. The only thing I've done to it is thrown on that six-hour red dot. Low, you know, low profile. I didn't put a riser or nothing on it. Just is what it is. Put it on there, and it works. I started looking at other red dots, and again, since I don't shoot this very often, I didn't want to go out and put an expensive red dot on it, but I didn't want to put something so cheap on it that the recoil and the kickback, you know, everything from the AK-12 was going to cause damage to the red dot, cause it to malfunction, any other issues like that. So I went with the Sig Sauer. Um, so far, with this red dot on there, I think I've only put... In all reality, maybe 50, 60 rounds through it. Now, with that being said, the red dot is held up just fine. I've had no issues with it. It lines up perfect. Let's see if you guys can see that. Lines up perfect right along those sights right there. Now, the other thing they have is they have, this thing fits the Remington 870 chokes. And they got like a choke on there with these little tactical spikes on the front to make it look cool and Again, I don't need a choke. This thing shoots paper all day long. When I go out to the range, that's all it is. I mean, I'm shooting paper. So it's, this is more of a, let's make this look cool. Let's make it, you know, 
look badass, really. So what do you guys think of that? Have you guys seen a shotgun AK? If not, comment below. If you have seen one, what do you think of them? Do you like them? Is it something that... And I don't want to say does it matter, because it does matter. It works. It's clear. But they also have an AR version. I'm an AR guy. I knew they had the AR version. It just wasn't readily available to me. I knew I can go out and I can buy them online. I can talk to my FFL and all that kind of stuff and get it mailed to me. But I'm not a wait for it in the mail kind of guy. I'm more of a let's get over there to the store. Let's put some cash down and I take it home that day kind of guy. So they had the AK readily available for me. That's why I ended up with the AK one. I wanted it either way, but had there been the AK and the AR one, I probably would have got the AR one first. Again, this one was readily available, so this is the one that I bought. Now, I don't know a lot about this thing. I'm not going to lie. Again, I'm not an AK guy. This is the first AK style platform that I've owned. And obviously, this is the first AK-12 that I've owned. So what I want to figure out, can I put the same AK folding stock on this? Now, Aunt Diesel's gun looks amazing. Not knocking it by any means. Me personally, I'm not a huge fan of putting an AR buttstock on an AK. That's just me. There's nothing wrong with it. I don't have any issues with anybody who does it or whatever the case is. I just like my AKs to look like AKs and my ARs to look like ARs. And I know that sounds weird coming from a guy who has a shotgun that looks like an AK, but it's an AK style platform. So I want to keep it in line with the AK image. Just as if I had an AR, I would want to keep it in line with that AR image. But that's my question, because I don't know. I got to do some research. I got a lot of stuff going on, so I haven't really had the time to actually dig into the issue and see if I wanted to do a regular AK folding stock or any AK stock, could I change it out and get rid of this big bulky one? This thing isn't too, too heavy, but it is bigger. Obviously, it's a shotgun platform. So because it's bigger, heavy, everything has been you know, made a little bit bigger to fit the rifle, it does make it heavy. So when you're carrying this for a long period of time, which again, I'm not really going to be doing considering I only go to the range. But when you carry it for a, for a while out there on the range playing with this thing, it does get heavy. So if I could lighten the load a little bit, I definitely want to do that. So this video, nice and simple, nice and easy. Go check out Ant Diesel. Go check out his AK build. Give me some ideas. I do want to still buy a 7.62x39 AK. What AK should I buy? I don't know a lot about them, so I'm not going to sit here and pretend, oh, this one's the best. This... I really don't know. Which AK should I buy? And how do you feel about the one that I currently own? Thank you guys for watching this video. Not a lot of information. I get that. We got a lot of stuff coming. I got a second YouTube channel that just launched. It's called Vlogging It All. Click the link in the description and you can go to that. All of the vlogging style videos that are on this channel are now moving to that channel. I got family stuff going on. I got a baby on the way. It is what it is. Life happens. I'm very excited about it. I don't want that to sound wrong. I'm very excited about that. But as far as the YouTube stuff, life happens. That's why I've kind of been a little bit behind. And I'm recording when I'm not feeling 100% right now. But thank you guys for watching. This is the JTS AK-12. We'll see you on the next one.